This evening, gunmen stage brazen attack outside United Nations office in Georgetown. Construction of that boardwalk at the Georgetown Sea Walls to begin in 2017. Drama at the Broadcasting Authority escalates. In the region, in Trinidad, Kamla Prasad Bissasar and colleague put out of Parliament for disorderly conduct. And internationally, Senator Ted Cruz to vote for Donald Trump. From Safe TV headquarters in South Ramville Gardens, this is Safe TV Headline News with Rihanna Ammon. Headline News is now being streamed live on our YouTube channel, as well as our website, safetyvghana.com. Join us. A Japanese national escaped a robbery attempt at the United Nations headquarters on Brick Dam in Georgetown just before 1 this afternoon. Andrew Weeks has more. On Friday, Headline News responded to a report of shots being fired at the United Nations office on Brick Dam opposite the NTN television station. When we arrived on the scene, a few police officers and other law enforcement officers were also arriving on the scene. We were told bandits had fired on a Japanese national who was going into the United Nations headquarters. This is what eyewitnesses told Headline News. And um, I saw two people like jostling, fighting between two vehicles there. And um, I looked for a while and then I saw a guy lifted up a shine gun in the air and shot I think it's a Chinese-ish looking fellow and then um, two guys ran back into the car including the gunman and they drove off. No it's a black running. Um, I think the guy was shot in the stomach. According to reports, the Japanese wife is an employee of the United Nations. It is not clear if the bandits may have followed him there from the bank or some other location of financial interest. The name of the Japanese national was not released to the press. Another eyewitness, who is a very popular TV host at NTN Channel 69, also spoke with Headline News about what he saw. It's a black car and it's a PLL, but I couldn't have seen the number because they went by too fast. Blood found at the scene. My colleague Mondale Smith was at the scene as well and spoke with Jerome Khan, who has an office close by and heard shots fired. Listen. I don't know, but he is safe, I understand. He is now um, under protection in the United Nations compound. And um, the police came, the report was made, the police came. Unless we accept that there, there's been an increase in the speed of crime in the country and deal with the fact that our intelligence gathering, we have to be proactive. You were also making a point earlier that Brick Dam is a main thoroughfare and there's need for more security, you That is say? the thing that really concerns me and worries me. Brick Dam is a place that houses several embassies, United Nations, Mexican Embassy, up the road you have the Argentine, the Chilean. This here is a warhead and uh, the, it is still very much inside of the wall of the United Nations Development Fund building and uh, this is one of possibly two or more shots that were fired uh, during the attempted robbery or kidnapping, which we're not sure of just yet. In the seven years that I've been here, I've never seen this happen. Mm. And it tells a story. The story to me that has been told is that the criminals are becoming brazen and therefore better intelligence uh, operations have to go in, you know, in force. The minister must respond by setting up a task force that can look at intelligence gathering rather than reacting to when a crime takes place. That was Mr. Jerome Khan. Uh, he works in the United Nations Development Program building and uh, based on information that we have received, uh, uh, an international uh, person that is from another country was attacked. We are not too certain if it was for kidnapping or if it was for robbery. A shot, what, at least one shot was fired and as a result of that, the police were summoned to the scene. According to information on the ground, the police reacted or responded quite promptly and at present the man who was attacked and saw work uh, station where there was an attempted robbery or kidnapping which is still to be determined uh, according to the information. Thanks Andrew and Mondale. The Child Care and Protection Agency has received 2,238 reports of child abuse occurring in the country between the period 
January to July of this year. Director of the Child Care and Protection Agency, Anne Green, told a Linden rally hosted to observe Child Protection Week that that figure in care in the care. This morning, the sound of dental drills, compressed air pumps, and school children could be heard throughout the halls of Joselle Educational Institute. Students of the California-based Loma Linda School of Dentistry, with the assistance of their professor and local dentist, gave free dental exams and performed various minor dental procedures on the primary school students. The most common type of procedure that we've been providing is extractions. But we've also been, um, I've found that a lot of people, although they're brushing really well, they have a lot of tartar buildup in the back of their front teeth. So we've been trying to provide um, toothbrushes and toothpaste and also add um, health education on how to properly brush and how to not forget the areas that we see tartar building up a lot. This is the team's first visit to Guyana. They have only been in the country since this past Saturday, and they have already helped hundreds of children throughout the country. It is a relationship that the school plans to sustain with the Guyana Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Loma Linda University and its dental school are both Adventists. The students see their helpful deeds as missionary work. It's all part of the mission that we believe that Jesus Christ um, showed to all of us where he provided care before he spread the gospel. So our, our role is just to provide in dental work the mission of Jesus Christ. Guyana is not the only place that the Loma Linda School of Dentistry has um, set up mission work. We have areas in Nicaragua, Honduras, the Mas Maasai Clinic with the Maasai tribe in Africa, Zimbabwe, Romania, and even um, Ukraine. Their passion for their work is reflected in the smiles of children the world over. Coming up on Headline News after the break, government forges ahead with that boardwalk at the Georgetown Seawall. And PVP commissioners distance themselves from GCOM purchases. Cause all of me loves all of you, love your curves and all. The Bridal Collection, now available at Raj Jewelry, second floor at the Giftland Mall. Custom design jewelry, made to order in just 24 hours. Call at 222. With a distinctive flavor, Umda Palkigi is made from 100% pure vegetable oil. This Palkigi is a delight when preparing sweetness and aroma. It is used for religious purposes and is a principal fuel for burning. Onda Palpigi is light, pure, with a real gay texture. Broaden your horizons when thinking about investing long term. Buying shares in one of the companies traded on the Ghana Stock Exchange as from banks, dividends from shares are tax-free and profit from any increase in share price does not incur capital gains tax. You can buy shares through a stock brokerly transferable and can be sold for cash when needed. Invest through the stock exchange. One market, greater returns. Evening gowns, to church outfits, to work and party wear, Levi's jeans, docker shirts, and more at Clarence on Church Street. That's where you need to be. Take advantage of Clarence's half-off birthday sale on Friday the 23rd of September. Clarence, quality clothing at a four when innovation and quality matters, Sylvie's Variety Store stand by their commitment to consumers in stocking the best construction equipment for the building sector. Seven horsepower diesel engine cement mixers, Honda and diesel engine compactors, Honda and gasoline engine power trowels, electrical and mechanical concrete vibrators capable of 13,000 vibrations per minute. So increase production faster with a perfect choice of construction equipment from Sylvie's Variety Store. Always something new.
it's always fresh, tasty, enticing, and the best in town. Serve hot from our experienced chefs. Come and enjoy our daily meals with a wide and delicious menu to choose from. Also a wide variety of pastries and dessert. We can also host your luncheons, cocktails, parties and formal gathering. For a reservation call 225-1730, 225-0038 and delivery 225-0195 or 225-0159. The new thriving Chinese restaurant. Turn on every item in their blowout factory surplus sale, 50% off for Guyana's 50th anniversary right through the year. Check it out at their spacious factory outlet at Reinfeldt Industrial Park where parking is no problem. It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, 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 please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. of Public Infrastructure is moving ahead with the construction of a boardwalk at the Georgetown Seawall. Appearing before reporters recently, Public Infrastructure Minister David Patterson gave an update on the status of that project. The money is the, um, it's here already. Well, when they say here in the region, not in the country. <laughs> um, it's, in, um, it's probably lodged in, in, the, in Barbados because DFID, um, CDB and DFID are, are expanding, um, are the supervisors. This will see Ghana saving a substantial amount of money. If we proceed on our loan, I, we are responsible for paying the consultancies, but if we merge them, um, we win-win for us. While the existence of the Selena Resort at the KTC Wall will not hamper the construction of the boardwalk, Minister Patterson used the opportunity to highlight his displeasure as it relates to the location of the resort. Environmental thing of several radio licenses that were unilaterally granted by the then President Barrett Jack Dio. Another feud between the two gentlemen involves a claim by cable broadcaster Ken Wynne Charles. Greg said, um, I don't know. The Prime Minister is currently very busy, and as soon as he settles down, we will have a meeting and he will determine the cases and present as is to the Prime Minister. In terms of making a judgment call, I, as you are suggesting, by your functions of the office. We have to because. We are bounded by law to serve the people and we must continue the work at hand. I, I hope that these allegations would not e So far, none of the two accused, Vicinson Ali nor Vera, have responded to the accusations in writing, but they did so verbally. Chairman Craig said the written response is expected. Andrew Wicks reporting for Safe TV2 Headline News. Thanks, Andrew. The People's Progressive Party Civic is distancing it. The People's Progressive Party Civic is distancing itself from the controversial purchase of radio sets and pliers by the Ghana Elections Commission. Here is Bibi Shadik, one of the three PP representatives at GCOM. I was asked what they doing with pliers. How many pliers? Fourteen million dollars can pay? Can buy? I don't know. The three PVP commissioners, Robson Ben, Says Gunraj, and Shadik, appeared at a news conference yesterday to clarify that they were never consulted on the purchase of the equipment during the 2015 general elections. I have been present at every single statutory meeting held of the commission from the time of appointment, special meetings, and everything to the present time. I've never been absent from any meetings. It cannot be said that I missed that discussion. 
As a probe into the operations of the Elections Commission continues, Conrad also made clear that to date, the GCOM Secretariat has not submitted a report on the 2015 general and regional elections or the 2016 local government elections to the Commission. Commissioner Robson Ben is accusing the outgoing chairman, Dr. Steve Serge Valley, of stymieing progress at GCOM. The organization is dis dysfunctional, is badly run, and every effort is being made at the level of the chairman. Stabbing West to the neck. He then fled before he could be apprehended and went into hiding. Meanwhile, West was pronounced dead on arrival at the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation. Coming up on Headline News after the break, our regional and international news. Juices is the VIP rewards card. Apply today and get special discounts on clothing, shoes, and accessories. Shop and save on your favorite brands by just showing your card. No points to accumulate or bills to keep. It's that simple. Apply today for your John Lewis Styles VIP rewards card. See store for more details. John Lewis Styles. Simply different. With a distinctive flavor, Umda Palkagi is made from 100% pure vegetable oil. This Palkagi is a delight when preparing sweetmeats and other dishes for healthy cooking with a rich buttery taste and aroma. It is used for religious purposes and is a principal fuel for burning. Umda Palkagi is light. The Soons want every Guyanese home to showcase a new piece of furniture to remember this glorious event of our Jubilee celebration. Kisoons have gone crazy. Every item is on sale right through this year in the big Kisoons. This place is really hot. What's wrong with your AC? It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, I had a hard day. I'm sorry you had a hard day, but guess what, babe? I didn't cook today because the stove is not working. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Churchtown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. from the regional. Opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bissasar and Princess Tong MP Barry Paradath were put out of the Parliament Chamber for disorderly conduct. CNews has more. During debate on the FACTA Tax Information Exchange Agreement Bill 2016, the Saparia MP interrupted the contribution of Attorney General Faris Al-Rawi. Speaker of the House Bridget Anisette George ruled understanding Order 55 that Prasad Bissasa's conduct was disorderly. She was asked to leave the Parliament Chamber and Padara soon followed. There was absolute nonsense. Member for Princess Song, I also ask you to withdraw from the chamber for the rest of the sitting. And internationally, Senator Ted Cruz writes in a Facebook post. Fiercest competitor during the primary. Now, Texas Senator Ted Cruz is endorsing Donald Trump. He just posted moments ago why on Facebook a lengthy explanation. Here are two of the key reasons. First, last year, I promised to support the Republican nominee. I intend to keep my word. In this Facebook post from Ted Cruz, he lays out pretty clearly why he is now endorsing Donald Trump. And he says at the very end of this post that he is honoring his pledge that he made to the Republican National that. And that's Safe TV2 headline news for this Friday evening. As we take our leave, we invite you to find Safe TV2 headline news on Facebook, YouTube, 
and safetyvghana.com. You can also tune in on Sunday evening at 6 o'clock.